All right, you are back. It's time for the adventure to continue. Join the Soul Riders and more to determine what secrets lie within Fort Maria. All right, let's go in. <gasps> Always get so close to the edge. Whoa. Uh-oh, did the library glitch? What? <gasps> what happened? Where am I going? Um... What? I've, I'm in, like, the library walls. What's happening? How do I get out of here? Um, help? I don't think this is supposed to happen. No one to pick me up. Okay, I'm kind of stuck. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Had to log in, log out. All right, what's going on? Well, last time you sought a witch to learn more about a mysterious force, I confirmed it was the Vala. You also encountered the Vala witch. Galloper Thompson also encountered the Vala. <gasps> oh, wait, what did they find? What is it, you guys? What did you find over here? Mm, let me take a look. Hmm, there certainly is something more to this bookshelf. Let's investigate. Is this whole thing gonna be a secret wall? Oh, I'm using magic. Is it doing anything? What about over here? Use a little bit of some magic. How about up there? And a little twinkle of magic here. Oh, <gasps> yes, there's a secret door. I mean, I'm not surprised this library has tons of secrets. The bookcase, it moved. And now there's, there's, could it be? I mean, it doesn't look like a janitor's broom closet to me. This is epic. A doorway to another world. Is it hiding a monster? <gasps> is it hiding a monster? Maybe so. There's only one way to find out. Let's open it. No, wait. It's a doorway to a magical snowy fantasy world. No, it's not. Quiet, little bee. Maybe we need to find a way to open it. Can we not just open it right now? It just won't just open? What's in there? Let's get cracking. Cracking it open. Attempt to open the doors. Maybe there's a hidden mechanism in a book. Here, I'm just gonna try. It doesn't move even one bit. Okay, let's try here. Ooh, trying to open the door, two out of five. What about over here? Anything magical? Or here? Enough books. Maybe a knocking spell. I wanna cast a magic missile and blow it up. Huh? Uh, it's just a D&D &D joke. Look for a magic spell to unlock the doors. <gasps> there's a little critter in here. How did that get in here? It just flew out of the bookshelf. Grab it. Whoa, I'm using magic. There it is. There it is. Am I supposed to run after it? Where did it go? I don't see which way it went. Let's do some more magic here. There it is. It's like my power is uncontrollable today. There it is. Can I grab it? No. Careful. I don't want to destroy the whole library. Did I get it? Um, there's something glowing. What is that? <gasps> it created symbols all over. Those magic circles look interesting. I should try that again. Okay, just shoot some magic out. <gasps> there's one on this painting. Ooh, what does it mean? There's one on the ceiling. Oh, <gasps> the door! It's open. I don't know what you did, but the doors are open. Just being magical. Hopefully these paintings are permanently ruined like that. There is so much magic to uncover here in the library. No time, let's go see what's through those doors. It looks like it leads underground. Yes, a cave of sorts. There's more to this than meets the eye. We are about to enter the threshold of an ancient garado of sorts. Mind your footing and be prepared. All right, let's step through into another world. This is so crazy. It's just coming right out of the library. Okay, go down the steps. I mean, this is really pretty. It's really beautiful. Oh, there's water. Oh, look, there's something over here. This is so beautiful. Oh no, the foal's drinking the water. Look at, there's pictures up here. Oh no, a lot of them are missing and broken. Oh, <gasps> look at, they have different portals that lead to different things. What does this one say? They're leading to a tree and this one? They actually used to use it as a passageway to take something glowing with their horses through. Breathtaking. The magic is buzzing in the air. The magic is strong here. Yeah, look at the mural. Doesn't it remind you about the ancient network of roots spanning Jorvik? Hmm. It looks similar to the chart Mississippi found. The wild weave was the place he was searching for, or maybe found. It's all connected. I don't sense much energy here. Whatever life was in this root system is long gone. Like, it's dead. We should heal it. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? Okay, I wish our characters could jump. Notice how many points on Jorvik are represented here. Scarecrow Hill, Devil's Gap. Check out all the life warden trees, both dead and alive. This one's a map. I'll bet you anything, the document Mississippi found was copied from this mural. These roads are traveling on with massive carts. They look like tree roots, but if they're somehow dead trees, there must be some dead dying roots. I'm sure that's why the travel network is damaged. Seems like it was used as a secure passageway for precious items. I mean, that is quite the travel party. I know, what is that? Didn't we read something about John Jarl being buried with the seed of a life warden? We did. It's been under our noses this entire time. We should go to his tomb below Doyle's Abbey and request him. Ooh, we're gonna go talk to a ghost. Come on, let's get that life warden seed. Let's take it from him. Go back to the library entrance to get the horses. Oh, I don't wanna leave this beautiful place. Look, not even Linda wants to leave. There's so much magic in here. 
You can get off the path too. Oh, if only we could jump. I want to explore. Because it looks like there's more behind there. I can't get in there. Is Beatrix going to ride Concord like that? Yes, we are getting our first outdoor adventure together. We're here. We're at his tomb. Well, Granny and the others are inside. Concord and I will wait here. Be brave. Go boldly into the dark. Enter the tomb of John Jarl. No problem. Woo, it's been a long time since we've been in here. Oh, there he is. He's already been summoned. Who, Who dares, dares approach, approach my tomb? tomb? I am John Jarl, son of Yar, eternal protector of Jorvik in both life and death. Rightful ruler of this land. Oh, just an old witch and four soul riders approaching you. Hi, John Jarl. A witch in my domain? I am none too fond of spellbinders. Um, we should speak to John Jarl with respect. Now everyone stay calm. We are the soul riders. We deserve respect. Let's, let's just all remain calm. I care not what you think of me. What are you even doing here? Hmm, the YouTuber. Last time we crossed paths, you proved yourself most valiantly. You may stay, but only if you heed my orders. You work for me now. John Jarl, we approach you in the request of a seed. But not just any seed, the seed of the Life Warden Tree. Give it to us now. That is a mighty big request, and I am in no mood for generosity. I feel empty, like something highly significant has been taken from me. People only come down here to get something from me these days. Nobody respects or honors me like they used to. Don't you think that's for a reason? People have opened their eyes and seen the damage you've done to Jorvik. Damage? I liberated this island. Without me, it would be nothing. You hacked away an ancient forest and forced people out of their homes. I'd hardly call that liberation. You know not what you speak of. John Jarl, if you want to make things right, you can start by allowing us to plant the seed. Restoring a life warden would mean that someday a forest that you felled might flourish once more. What fun is it for you? There are much greater things to ask of me. Gold, weaponry, ancient knowledge, and you ask for the seed? You won't see the tree in its final form, nor the forest that shall grow around it. No, you will be just there for the start. <laughs> Human. What is that little creature I also sense? Beatrix, get out. Go back with the horses. Come on, we need to plant that life warden. <laughs> Fine, the seed will be yours on one condition. Okay, what? You will have to pass the test, but only one of you can take the challenge. YouTuber, I choose you. The rest of you have been lingering far too long. Heed my order and leave. John Yarrow, the sheer gall of you is outstanding. You change your mind like wild horses change directions. Your opinion of witches switches like the wind. Oh, that kind of rhymed. You order rune storms and life wardens to be felled, only to befriend the druids that treasured them. And worst of all, you throw your most loyal companion to the dust. All that conquering went straight to your head, I dare say. Hmm. Soul Riders, let us take our leave. Good luck. Okay, I'm alone with the ghost. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, John Jarl, what what do I do? Hmm, that witch Holdsworth knows exactly how to get under my ectoplasm. Um, ew. I devised a grueling challenge of your worthiness since I watch your YouTube videos. In order to win this coveted prize, you must prove you have a clear mind and a pure heart. Let us begin. John Jarl tests your worthiness to receive a piece of his treasure. And he's also giving me money. Skeletons in the grave. Your first question. What breed of horse can jump higher than a stable? What? Is he being serious? <laughs> you couldn't even get past the first riddle. I win, I keep the seed, now go bring me food. I know you're a smart cookie, cookie, amongst the crumbs. Do you want to try another question? Yeah? Stop wasting time, you're the only one who can help. You tricked me, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh! <gasps> Look at she's like mad. You are brave. It is final. You pass the test because I like your YouTube videos. Keep filming them because I love horses too. Um, no words can describe how I feel. I'm honored. Thank you. Say nothing. I'm happy you like my YouTube videos. Thanks, John Yarl. I'm honored. There was a time that people looked up to me, you know, but now I'm only looked down upon. A light has been shown on my past and revealed the true legacy I left. There are inconsistencies in the way I have behaved. Like many others, I was blinded by power. But centuries of being robbed of it, of lying here with skeletons of my misdeeds, have led me to brood over it. But at least I can entertain myself with social media. Have you followed my TikTok? No, I don't have a TikTok. Did you do something you regret? It was each man for himself when we came to this new world. I did what I had to in order to survive. But yes, I did something that still does not sit right with me. 
<gasps> Does this have to do with Galloper? When I made my alliance with the Druids, they gifted me the seed of a tree greater than any, and beseeched me to plant it as a token of our alliance. I died before the act could be done, before I could tell my people about it. So they buried it with me. This is the item you asked for. This wretched thing has lain with me for all eternity. A haunting reminder of my mistakes. But now a soul rider and YouTuber has carried the light. You have come along to make things right. I'll plant the seed. It would be great to have such a beautiful forest grow here in Jorvik. And now with the seed in safe hands, I can return to my YouTube videos. I mean slumber. Farewell, the I will catch you on YouTube. Yes, I got the seed. What we find in the shadows. Oh, here it is. I got it. There it is. Thank you, John Yarl. I promised you there will be a tree planted in your name and your honor. Nature breathes a sigh of relief. The seed is in trustworthy hands now. Aww. The seed has the potential to grow a life warden tree. Legend says the seeds were planted around Jorvik by Aideen herself. Now it is your turn. It's yours. <gasps> I love it. I can reach out and grab it. I got it. Thank you, John Yarl. Hey, cheer up, okay? I'll come back and visit you some other time. Goodbye. Actually, this wouldn't be a bad hangout spot. I mean, right? You bring some snacks, put some food on here. You know, John Yarl could use some friends. He feels bad for all that he has done in his lifetime. You did it. How did you convince him to hand it over? I can't even imagine. Oh, that's because he's a fan of her YouTube videos. Huh. So let's head back to Fort Maria and tell Linda the good news. Chase Beatrix and Concord back to Fort Maria. Come on, Star Stable. We definitely need more foals in this game. Foals that can follow, foals that we can race with all the time. Wait, where are they going? Whoop, excuse me. Oh, there they are. Oh. Why they suck? What? What is it? Oh, it's Jessica. Oh, and she has a friend with her. Oh, lots of friends with her. Dark Riders, huh? Might be a showdown. <gasps> GED's watching. What, are they gonna battle us too? Um, you guys, what are we gonna do? We've got GED to back him up. Um, hi, Sabine. I haven't seen you since, um, the Equestrian Festival. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like a bunch of chickens scattering to the four winds. Cluck, cluck. It's you versus the Dark Riders? Well, it's not completely me. I mean, I've got the rest of the Soul Riders here. Hmm, look at Baby Conquered. And what on Jorvik is writing it? <laughs> Anne, is that you? No, this is that vile little creature I warned you about. The one scrounging around Fort Maria. I mean, it's hard to tell past all that Pandorian scarring. Hey, Jessica, you still a sore loser from when you lost Mrs. Holdworth's papers? Why so rude? Bring it on. You don't scare me. They really don't scare me. I think we could all be friends. But why are they being so rude? <laughs> Of course, the YouTubers are all for love, no war. We're not friends, and never will be. What dark deeds are you up to? Typical nosy neighbors, these soul riders. What does it look like? We're on a mission. We're escorting a transport dummy. Hush, Katja. Hmm. If you know it's good for you, you'd stay out of our business, soul riders. Dark core goons, GED, volatile shipments. We can't ignore the situation. What are you transporting? I know that stench from anywhere. I smell it all the time. Nasty stuff, I tell you. Let's stop them. Let's leave. Why would they want to help GED? <laughs> what do you mean you're going to stop us? You and what army? We have all of Dark core and GED on our side. You're going to step aside and let us walk through and hand over Concord as payment for safe passage. Mortifa, snatch that little full soul. Leave my Concord alone. You'll never harm her again. I won't let you. And be careful near the Darkonium. It's highly unstable. Can I kind of tiptoe around and, and check it out? Don't mind me, I'm behind the trees. I mean, that whole army of G- Oh no, they are up there watching. They are gonna make this difficult. All right, you guys, what are we gonna do about it? Oops, I'm on the wrong side. That's the Dark Rider side. There we go. So what are we gonna do? I know what I'm doing. Wait, what are, what are they doing? You guys, what, what are we doing? Anne, are, are you okay? Anne takes action. The Darkonium disaster. Oh no, this isn't how it's meant to happen. Not again, please, not again. What's happening to her? Uh, did you mean to start opening a pink portal? Because unstable Darkonium plus unstable pink world equals, you know, big boom. With every second that portal stays open, we inch closer and closer to total disaster. We're all gonna die. Anne, can you close the portal? We can help you. Maybe I can heal it. I'm trying, but it's not working. I'm too weak. Wait, did she mean to do that? Or is this happening by accident? Out of her control. Oh no. She's opening up portals. Why would she do that? Oh, cute though. Oh, okay, that's not good. Oh, it's gonna explode. Oh, there's the Vala. 
What is she doing? Careful, I don't want to get too close, but you can see the Vala right over there. Uh, you guys, what are we gonna do? Oh, there's a big giant portal open up right over there. Okay, the Dark Riders must be loving this. Miss Holdsworth, any ideas? No? Is anyone hurt? Come on. It's indeed the Vala. Hurry, we must make our acquaintance. Meet the mysterious Vala witch. Uh, is that safe? You, what are you called? Hello, I'm Miss Holdsworth, Esmeralda Holdsworth. I've been following you closely. What is your name? Do you like cookies? I am seen. Make haste through this portal. Wait, if Pi's afraid of her, why should we suddenly trust her? She almost killed us back at the Hollow Woods. Untrue. Steve, these are soul riders and their guardian horses and a YouTuber protectors of Jorvik and Riders of Aideen. They are also children. We are not kids. Don't say that. Hush. I'm trying to get her to go away. Besides, to us who's been around on this planet, you certainly are. Like me, I'm as old as a tree. Siv, you must swear not to harm anyone. Mm, I swear. Now come through the portal. The portal will soon collapse. I choose her over the Dark Riders. We've come too far to turn back now. We have to see where this portal takes us. Where does she want us to go? Let's see what's in the portal. Whoa, did you see how she popped up? Come on. Are we going through the portal? Everyone's running around like crazy. Let's go through the portal. I hope my horse doesn't get hurt though. There it is. Vala conditions fulfilled. Did we go through the portal? I just jumped through it. Is this the wrong portal? Is this the one right here? Can I go through the portal? Oh, I can't go through it. I like went through it, like all the way through it. Oh no, only the dark riders are left. Um, hey guys, I guess it's just me left. Can I join your team? <laughs> Looks like your pals have had enough of you and left you here. Look at your face, it's absolutely priceless. So, you going to ride off like those GED cowards now? Oh, did GED leave? Or are we so charming that you decide to stay? Make the most of this dark situation. Ride off or not, it doesn't matter. Thanks to your friend's careless soul rider magic, we're all doomed. <laughs> doomed. I refuse to go out with a soul rider at my side. Pandoria would sooner freeze over. Let's get rid of her then and then get out of here. I'd like to see you try. Can't we come to an agreement? Please spare me. Yeah, please spare me. If we don't do anything to close these portals, all of this darconium will explode. You, you're, you're right. We have to do something about it. We need to shut down this influx of Pandorian energy before it explodes like that massive container of darconium. You, help us. What's the fun in that? You don't want to watch Jorvik burn? I do. Do you really want to go out like this in a nowhere field all because of a single soul rider? Our destiny is bigger than this. We are the generals that ride on I'll work with this YouTuber, Soul Rider, but just this once. So am I in or do I have a choice? I don't think I have a choice, but yeah, I'm in. Oh joy, the Soul Rider is excited to work with us. This will be fun. Maybe you'll fall off your horse eclipse amidst all the chaos. <laughs> I'd love that. Uh oh, what is she up to? Yes, we're all part of the same team. I'm one of them. Look at all of our beautiful horses. Looks like we're ready. So we're ready to take on this Darconium, all four of us. There it is. Okay, we have to handle it with care though, of course. We don't want it to explode in our faces. Hey, didn't she have like a ponytail? Riders, prepare yourselves. There they go. Wait, where are they going? <gasps> oh yeah, oh, it's all burning. This is so dangerous. Man, GED just cannot get anything right. What do they need all this for? Okay, what are we gonna do? Look at how she's got her violin tucked under her saddle. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't show up. Actually interested in seeing what this unstable darconium can do. What do you think? Want to watch something go boom? Clear the field of Pandorian energy spheres while Katja stabilizes the darconium. I don't know. Can we trust her to do that? You're such a cowardly little thing. It's not cowardly to say no to a dumb idea. There's no time for experiments. We have a mission to accomplish. You could try to send those energy spheres back to Pandoria. Leave me alone. Try riding around in your goofy little magical circles. Even if it doesn't work, you'll give me a laugh. You really aren't very nice. You are a terrible team player. I think under all those insults, you are just an insecure person. She's just really not nice. Thank you. Go, I don't need you looking over my shoulder. Oh, she's doing magic. Oh, she is icing it over though. Clear the field of Pandorian energy spheres. Okay, while she's doing that, I'll try to clear the field. Ah, careful of GED. Oh, I can't get to them. There's a block right here. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. I'm gonna grab the energy sphere. Jessica, what are you doing over here? <laughs> Let's split the work. I'll take out the flying rats. You clean up after me. Heard the Pandoria creatures back to their home. There's so much to do. Can I grab it? Come on, Panda Ray. Oh, it starts to fall on you. <gasps> oh. There's another one. Come on. Grab it. 
I got it. They're following. Okay, we're good. There's another orb. And another one. Okay, she's still doing her thing. Oh, there's a portal. Okay, that one exploded. Sabine, what are you doing? Hm. Let's see how well you fare against the horrors of Pandoria. Rifts have opened into the new Hillcrest, and shadowy creatures are encroaching. Blast them back into Pandoria and close the rifts against their return. Honestly, I don't expect too much from you. Just try to keep up and stay out of my way when I'm casting magic. We wouldn't want you to take the same little Pandorian vacation your friend Anne went on. Join forces with Serbine to clear the new Hillcrest of Shadow Seekers and Pandoric Rifts. She's off. And I'm still collecting these orbs. Are there any more creatures flying around? Oh, there's another Pandorian creature. I saw it. Okay. Let me close this portal. Okay. Teamed up with Katja. How's that going? Oh, good. She controlled it and contained it. Good job. Guess what, loser? I kept a little something for my home chemistry set. <laughs> okay, be careful with that. All right, there's a creature right there. Grab the creature. Come on, you're in the trees. I see you. You're trapped in the trees. Okay, got you. Time to go back into the portal. Oh, looks like you got a friend over here. Come on. Okay, got them both. Hey, Jessica. Put them back in the portal. Okay, good. Okay, I got all those creatures. For the record, I don't like well-behaved druids. All right, now to team up with Sabine. She's all the way in New Hillcrest. Still can't go through that portal. There she is. So even they don't like all this darkness taking over Jorvik. That's kind of refreshing to know. Look at all these hapless townspeople running around screaming for help. We're the only heroes here. I'm gonna have to send Katja in here later to wipe their memories of this magic. That's horrible. She'll have fun with that. I'll catch the first shadow seeker over there. You can start on your side of the street. Don't forget to close the rifts as well. Yeah, there are people running. Look at it, they're afraid. They're so afraid. <gasps> that house is on fire. Look at it. This is horrible. Oh, Sabine's checking on me. Okay, okay, here I come, here I come. Okay, she's doing her magic. Take down that shadow seat. Oh. Okay, got that one. That person ran into my horse. Ah, fire. Closing the portal. Wait, isn't it a little soon? Oh, I closed it. Okay, let me go into the backyard and close this other portal. So that way no more can come out. Okay, all right, now deal with the rest of the shadow seekers. There she is doing her magic. Take these ones down. Oh, my horse is so upset. Ah. Take him down. Okay, that one's gone. Now this one. Okay, gone. Okay, but there's still chaos, and there's like this tree is on fire. Seems like you've encountered shadow seekers before. Not too bad yourself. We make a good team. Excuse me. Whatever. Right out. Okay, I guess everybody will just repair their houses themselves. They still look really afraid, though. What are we still gonna do about these portals that are open? I'm sure Sabine has a plan. Okay, you guys, what do we do now? Seems the threat has been neutralized. Regroup with the Dark Riders. They're closing. What's happening? They're gone. <laughs> I had to admit, I was tempted to throw you into the portal. But now, looks like we're just letting you go. Quit messing around. Any parting words? Something to remember us by? How about a punch to the face? This wasn't so bad. I'd rather pretend this never happened. You're lucky I didn't unleash the light of Aideen on all of you. Oh yeah? You're claiming to have the upper hand on us? Cute. Consider yourself lucky. I'm a woman of my word. Crushing you would have been too easy. Stick with your team, and I'll stick with mine. Nothing personal. See you on the battlefield. Con, right out. Okay, well, bye. <gasps> There's still a portal open, though. What do we do with this portal? Did the Soul Riders get sucked into this? Um, I think we kind of left some things undone. Maybe they're just gonna deal with it. All right, bye, Dark Riders. Oh no, it's just Linda back in the library. Hey, I was hoping it was you. Let Linda know what happened. Oh, she's gonna be upset. Um, Linda, I kinda lost the Soul Riders. They went to a portal and I kinda teamed up with the Dark Riders as they were helping GED. But we actually all got along. We weren't doing anything evil. Oh yeah, we met the Vala. Wow, meeting the Vala. The others going with her, neutralizing unstable Darkonia, working with Dark Riders. Sounds unreal. What was the highlight of your adventures? Working with the Dark Riders, meeting the Vala Witch. Oh yeah, getting the seed from John Jarl. I mean, I knew I would be able to get that from him, but probably meeting the Vala. I really like the Vala. If Miss Holdsworth trusts the Vala Witch, they're in safe hands. And by the way, I have something to catch you up on. I've been doing some research, but it looks like you deserve a break. You've been through a lot. I'm gonna go home and curl up with Misty, my cat, but let's reconvene. Meet me back here tomorrow. All right, then I'll just see Linda tomorrow. Good morning, it's now the next day. Linda, what's going on? It's a brand new day. Let me assemble my notes. Listen to Linda's notes. It was pure luck that I stumbled across these instructions about cultivating ancient Yorvigian flora. The note is so old that the ink has faded in places, but I can read snippets of it. Passage you seek, disposed of, pieces together information, planting, primeval seed, conditions of soil, places of revered magic, proximity to other trees leads to accelerated growth, 
only a careful hand bestowing Aideen's gift. That's all I could make out, so these seeds need to be planted where the soil holds magic by someone with Aideen's gift. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think we can do it. Like, now. Let's head to the Forgotten Fields and plant the seed. Yes! Okay, let's write off. <gasps> Is that where we're gonna be planting the seed? Oh, right here next down to this gorgeous tree that was cut down. Look at how giant it was. Oh, it's so sad. What a tremendous loss. We're just reminded by the stump how glorious it was. What do you think, Linda? Coming here used to make me sad, considering that it was once a flourishing forest. But now we're planting a new life warden to accompany the lonely sleeping widow. Beautiful. All right, let's get planting. First, we need to dig a hole. Plant the seed. <gasps> there we go. Wait, Pi? What is she doing here? Oh, she's... She's dancing. Ah, where am I? I sensed a change in the air. Or did somebody fart? So I left my swamp to investigate. Oh, you're planting ancient seeds without a single smidge of volcanic ash. Good thing I always carry a bag with me. I use it as face powder. Uh, thanks, Pi. I wish I could explain why we're doing this, but it's a long story. Here we go. You spread some volcanic ash around. A little there, a little here. Can you imagine the Forgotten Fields literally used to be a flourishing forest? It should be called the Forgotten Forest. Hmm, the soil should be ready for the seed now. Go ahead, plant it. Easy as pie. Do Jorvik the honor of planting the primeval seed. Yes, with honors. Happy to. I shall plant it right here. You plant inside the trunk. <gasps> look, 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 look. There it is. Wait, can I get on my horse for a better vantage point? Get the companion tree sapling. Oh, it's beautiful. Lynn picks up from across the water, carrying with it an ancient course that feels like it's part of you. Aideen can rest easy knowing the primeval seed has been reunited with the earth. Aww. Given the magical properties of the soil, the seed grows at an astonishing rate. There's something strange in the air. Look at it. Wait a moment. That wasn't any old seed, was it? Did I just help you plant a life warden? As in golden apple tree? Yes. Doesn't it feel good to do something nice for Jorvik? Oh, the temperature's just dropped. Did you just cast a spell, Pi? Because something isn't right. Oh no! Like I haven't heard that one before. What is she doing here? Wait, where is she? Oh, she's up there. She better not be trying to ruin this plant. Katja, what is she doing here? This is the last thing we need right now. Protect the sapling. Remember that chemical sample I took? I put it to good use. No, did she poison the soil? Oh, the wonders of Darconium. Ready to be my first test subject. <laughs> Why is she so evil? Leave nature alone. Keep her distracted. Draw on your most powerful magic to cut down those icicles. She's trying to stunt its growth. Break all these. Run over my magic circles to charge your powers. Okay, there's one. We gotta keep the icicles down. She's distracted. Now's your chance. What do I do? Are we gonna kill her? Cheap tricks. Do you do children's parties? She's still creating icicles. <gasps> Is that how you wanna play? Okay, you asked for this. Crushing you is gonna be so much fun. Why? What did I do? Well, I'm gonna keep crushing these ice crystals. Oh no. She's got him surrounded. I need to use the magic. <gasps> Rain of ice. That's enough. What's this keep away game you're up to? What are you trying to hide from me? A tree stump destined for a druid museum? Oh, but it's not just a stump. You've planted something in there. Something you're protecting. Linda, look out! You just made a mistake showing me you care about something. Step aside and watch me turn your dreams into ice. She won't stand down. You really think the two of you can stop me? Don't expect your new witch friend to get involved. Pi, what are you doing working for these losers? We're so close to turning Justin's horse into a fearsome warrior. <gasps> She's talking about Justin. You're nothing more than an old witch standing on the wrong side of history. Soul riders will soon fall and the fury of Nark will turn all that they once loved into ash. Bring it on, Frosty. <laughs> this is obvious. The plant is obviously Linda's school project. Rolls eyes. Let's tell her that it's just Linda's school project. Don't try to distract me with a lie. Mortifa, rain ice. Oh no, she's gonna freeze the plant. Where's the cutscene? It's just all dark. Uh, I think my game's a little glitchy. <gasps> Not so fast. Who's that? We have the same saddle pad on. Wait, is that, is that Lisa? Ugh, just what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> it's over, Katja. I won't let you cast your nightmares over Jorvik any longer. Lisa, it's three against one. Do you really think you stand a chance against us? Get out of here before I make you. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what do we have here? An old timely Western standoff? Cute. 
Ugh. Mark my words. You'll pay for this interruption. She's gone for now. You stopped her. I'm so glad to see you. Where'd you come from? Thank you, Dean. You're here. <laughs> Where did she come from? You wouldn't believe how I'm here. You saw how hesitant I was in entering the Vala portal? I was dead set on staying put and hightailing it away from the Dark Riders. But that's not how things turned out. Amongst the commotion, I was pulled towards this closing portal like a magnet, almost like I was riding its coattails. It spit me out halfway across the other side of the island, and Starshine and I rode back like the wind to get back here. And we've been riding around trying to find you ever since. You made it just in time. I don't know how much longer we could have held her off without you, especially with the Darkonium she was toying with. I just hope the others are okay. This is exactly what the Dark Riders would want to keep us separated. Did you really plant the life warden sapling? It's tiny, fragile even, to think that someday it will span the skies as tall as the sleeping widow. <gasps> we get some things, a soul Ridal essential saddle bag, and some books. We gotta help this tree grow, nurturing the sapling. Lisa, do you know where the Vala took everyone? Did you see something through the portal? It feels uneasy not knowing where the others are. There's only one location the Vala would feel safe enough to retreat to while Pandoria and Darconium let loose. They're in Devil's Gap. <gasps> Mm, your friends have been taken into the cursed Vala territory of Devil's Gap? I'm out. So the others are in Devil's Gap, possibly the most high security location. Under any circumstances, we would start searching for a way inside, but we already know a way. Right, we do. If we nurture this little sapling to full size, the Wild Weave will come to life again. Except now we're not only going to be requesting an audience with the Vala, but saving our friends from them too. No big deal, right? If we've transversed Pandora, we can take on the Wild Weave. This is our best chance of reconnecting with the others. I'm sure they're okay with Miss Holdsworth, but I'll feel better once we're all reunited. So we have a plan. Nurture the Life Warden sapling to full size so that the Wild Weave reactivates. At the rate this little thing is growing, it could reach full size in no time. With the proximity to the Sleeping Widow, Pie's fertilizer, and planting it inside the trunk of the old companion tree, it must have been the perfect mix for the accelerated growth. Only time will tell. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Oh, what's going on inside of the library? <gasps> the roots. There it is. It created an opening. Each end is a new beginning. The wind carries it, an air of change. The end of time's gone by and the start of something new. <gasps> yes, I got the saddlebag items. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so we need to let the sapling have time to grow. That's the end of the quest for now. Let's check out the saddlebag items. So I need to put the cute little cat away. All right, the first item is this right here, this brown saddlebag, the Soul Rider's Essential Saddlebag. Be prepared for any adventure with your trusty Soul Rider Essential Saddlebag. And now we can fill it with the Fort Maria Library books. They let me check them out. Out. I got a library card. Oh, Beatrix let you borrow these books for some light reading. Don't forget to return them. Okay, thanks, thanks, Beatrix. So what's up with that portal inside of the library? All right, let's see if it's there. Oh, it is, the portal is there. Ooh, mystical, magical. Okay, it hasn't completely activated yet. Can't wait for more quests to see what happens with this. And are we eventually gonna be able to travel into Devil's Gap? That's what I would like to know. Thanks for riding along with me in this adventure. Bye, you guys.